Hey guys, before I jump into the video, I wanted to reach out to you guys and get your five suggestions as to what stocks we should be buying in the YouTube Moolah portfolio. We're up to $554 thanks to you guys watching the ads. So that being said, I'm hoping to invest twice, so $250 each time. So the hope is if you guys give me the five ticker symbols on this video and then I'll make another video in a couple days where I do another five ticker symbols, we'll be able to vote on those and I'll be able to tell you guys or show you guys what I'm buying over the next day or two once we actually get that poll up and running. So. Appreciate you guys sticking around for that one. I'm going to hop right into the video. Hey folks, just want to follow up with you guys and show you how you can buy and sell on Fidelity Investments. So I've had a few people reach out and ask me basically like, hey, I have, let's say in this case, $3,337. I want to pull it out of my account. Somebody else set it up for me or, you know, what have you. And so they might immediately be asking themselves, like, why can't I pull out all $3,337? Why does it only allow me to pull out, let's say, 80 bucks uh, and let's kind of go into why that's possible we can kind of go into some other things as well specifically like how you would actually end up going to get this three hundred three thousand three hundred thirty seven dollars so in this case let me click on my youtube moolah account what you're basically seeing here is the amount of money i have in here so the total account value you're going to be like wow i have three thousand dollars i can pull that out i can go spend that on you know a car payment or catch up on my mortgage or what have you not necessarily so of the three thousand uh, dollars, I basically only have five hundred and fifty dollars in cash, which you're seeing in this cash available to trade here. So, if I wanted to, I could take out that uh, that account and basically put it into, let's say, my Wells Fargo account and go do that immediately. So, let's just say, for instance, I wanted to take out this three thousand dollars and and what have you. What's going to end up saying is, wow, no, you can't really do that because it exceeds. The cash in your account so you're probably saying to yourself well what what does that even mean like how do i go about getting that cash if you know it says the available balance here is three thousand three hundred thirty seven dollars but it's not letting me pull out that much well you kind of have to take into account what's invested in individual securities and what's actually in cash so i kind of mentioned that i have the 557 dollars or so in cash that you could pull out today and you can see that number here uh, in this particular aspect of things it's in the money market account here but i have a lot of the other things invested in let's say uh, johnson and johnson 3m total stock market fund which is actually doing pretty well, relatively speaking, um, looking at when I actually invested in it, it's up close to 30%. But that being said, uh, you can see that the total account value is the $3,337, but of which, you know, only 554 is in the actual cash. For those of you guys that are unfamiliar with how this works, when you invest in a stock, you can't just take out the money. You'd have to sell the position at whatever the market is selling for at that point. So... 9.30 Eastern Time to 4 p.m. Eastern Time, you're able to buy and sell whatever these positions are. Uh, as you can see here, I've actually gone up on the positions. So I've actually made $300 or so. But if you actually want to sell some of these and basically get your money out, you'd have to go to this little button here called Trade and select whatever account. In this particular account, I have, you know, I guess in this particular portfolio I have multiple different accounts in Fidelity you can see the $554 again the money that I actually have today that I could either use to buy or sell if I wanted to but in this particular case we're trying to get our money out right so you would have to go into each individual one of these positions say IJR, ITOT, IVV and you'd have to go into here and say okay IJR I'm gonna sell all that now how many shares do I have I have let's say two whole shares or you could just say sell all your shares because you don't have to be specific then you could say if you really don't care what price you're going to get market order or you could do a limit order if you wanted to get a specific price like in this case it's 8310 but you only really want to sell it maybe when it's 84 dollars so you can get a little bit more specific and i'm just going to do a preview order so you can kind of see what it looks like and basically it's going to say well you know if you want 84 dollars it might not necessarily work out and of course because these are partial shares, they're not going to show up immediately because generally speaking, people can't purchase 
partial shares. So that might take a couple days for those to actually, I guess, go through and get your money associated with the 0.03 shares that you have in there. So at the moment, you're going to get just the two shares price at $84 commission free because Fidelity is now commission free and you would place your order. Now, in a couple of days or so, depending on how quick uh, your money kind of transfers, it would start to show up as kind of a, a, a balance, but not necessarily being able to pull that money out. And so what I mean by that is just like if you were to deposit a check at the bank, it might take one to two business days for that check to actually clear and hit your account balance. Although it might say that your available balance is, let's say, $200 extra, you might not necessarily be able to pull that $200 out until the check actually clears and the bank actually verifies that the funds are actually being able to transfer from one count to the next. And that's essentially what's happening when you're kind of selling these positions and hoping to get the cash. The cash needs to settle, and it takes a couple days to do that. Now, of course, if you end up doing all this, selling all five of your share positions, Within a day or two, you'll be able to get your money out. And so over time, you'll see that the actual available balance will equal to this $3,337, give or take however much you're selling the positions for. Now, of course, the positions can go up or down depending on how much you're invested uh, and depending on how much the market is up or down that day. You could get $3,400 for it. You could get $3,200 for it. It really all depends on you know how how well you set up the sales when you're selling them and it's just like the normal stock market right so hope this video helps you guys out also something i want to do in a separate video is maybe walk through other particular brokerage accounts and show how to trade on those as well specifically maybe computer shares or other other basic companies to kind of get an understanding of how you can actually trade and so one of the other things i might do is i since i have a couple videos on fidelity now kind of explaining how this actually works is i might actually redo some of the videos because the user interface has changed a little bit but also change the name of those videos to fidelity investments 101 or something like that so it can kind of get you in a stair step sort of fashion so you can say okay well i want to set up my bank account how do i set up automatic investments how do i reinvest my dividends how do I actually trade? And so that way you kind of have an idea as to all these different things that you kind of need to consider, which you could learn on your own, which might take a little bit of time or some trial and error, and you might make a mistake. It'll cost you a couple bucks here or a couple bucks there, or you're going to sit down, watch the video, and hopefully help you out if you use something like Fidelity. So hope this video helps out, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Cheers.